just firstly to welcome you here, Minister, uh, as a member of the Joint Oireachtas Committee, um, I can say that there was cross-party support to waive the pre-legislative scrutiny from both government and opposition. Um, there was no disagreement on that. I want to thank your department for the helpful briefing for the spokespersons for the parties on education, mm -hmm. um, both government and opposition. And I think every effort has been made to bring people on board. Um, and look, you know, notwithstanding the fact that a quarter of the entire education budget goes towards the, the education of children with special needs, um, that 300 new classes were opened in the last academic year, special classes, and that 315 at least will be opened in the next academic year. So that's an increase of over 600 in the space of two years. Uh, and therefore bringing us to almost two and a half thousand special classes across the country. Notwithstanding that, it, as you've acknowledged yourself, there are children there who are not getting access to schools. And therefore it's the correct action on behalf of a, a responsible minister um, like yourself to put at your disposal everything that will ensure that every child with special needs, indeed every child, gets the education that they deserve under the, the Constitution and under legislation. Um, and I know that schools are sometimes concerned that they're not going to get the resources. Um, but I point to the 1998 Act, where actually it's incumbent on the department to provide those, uh, those resources. Um, and I'd also point to the fact that for every class of six children with special needs, there are two SNAs and one teacher provided now um, under your leadership and indeed Minister Foley. Um, and then for secondary school, it's one and a half teachers and two SNAs for a class of six. Um, and I think that, that that's the correct course of action and should give schools uh, some, co some comfort. But of course, as indeed Senator O'Loughlin had mentioned, there is that kind of interdisciplinary and cross, um, you know, cross departmental element. And that's the bit I think that a lot of parents are concerned about the waiting list when it comes to CAMS, for instance. That's a matter of real concern for so many parents. And that means it's a matter of concern also for the schools. But, you know, I listened to the debate, as indeed my colleagues did um, in the Dáil, and it was acknowledged by opposition TDs as well that um, there are some schools who are not doing their best in order to open these classes. Uh, and that has been acknowledged, and that's why this action is required. I think another um, important point, um, Minister, and it came up at the, um, the Joint Rocks Committee when we had FORSA and indeed individual SNAs come in to us, is concerns over, um, over contracts and terms and conditions for SNAs. Um, and I think it's important to get that part right. And as I said in the Oireachtas Committee, having been chair of a board of management of a school, we did have an SNA on the board of management, one of the two representatives from the school, one was the principal and one was an SNA. But that's not, that kind of um, involvement in leadership within a school is not the experience of every SNA. And it has to be if we're really to, to, to be serious about uh, backing up the resources with also the support for the, for the staff themselves. Um, and finally, I'd just like to point to another provision that's put into this legislation that I think is important, and that is um, that the, you know, that the NCSE would uh, coordinate school places within particular areas, or there's certainly the provision to allow for that in this Act, which would be a massive leap forward for a lot of the families that I speak to, who have to go door to door to all the schools at the moment to find a place, when actually um, they are entitled to that, to that place. So more of a coordinating role, I think, is how it's been described to me by department officials in the briefing that we received. And I think that that's a, an important part of this legislation as well. So finally, just to say that you have our support from the Green Party for this legislation and for the work that you're doing. More resources are required. I think that is acknowledged. But an additional 600, over 600 classes in the last two years is a huge improvement and indeed again just to go back to opposition TDs also said in the Dáil that they that there has been a huge 
uh, leap forward in terms of services. So thank you very much, Minister.